Donetsk International Airport was the scene of desperate fighting throughout January 15th as Kremlin-backed insurgent forces attempted to dislodge Ukrainian troops. The airport has been the scene of intense fighting since the imposition in September 2014 of a nominal ceasefire, with clashes escalating in recent days as Russian-led forces launched offensives throughout the East Ukrainian conflict zone. Throughout the day, insurgent leaders made repeated claims to have secured the airport, with Russian television also stating that Ukrainian forces had been driven out. However, as evening descended, Ukrainian troops claimed that the strategically crucial new terminal building of the airport was back under Ukrainian control, with pockets of insurgent fighters scattered throughout the building. There have been unconfirmed reports by Ukrainian media that at least two Ukrainian soldiers were killed in the fighting. More than a dozen Chechen fighters are trapped in the airport basement where they are blockaded by our soldiers. They are afraid to come out because they will be picked off by small arms fire. There are also separatist fighters located on the floor above us, but they are pinned down by our soldiers. We have received information that the commander of the Vostok battalion is in the cellar together with the Chechens. I told the attackers today, guys, forget about the airport. We will never give up the citadel. It will end with the deaths of your soldiers, which is to our advantage. You can fight if you want to, but there are some positions which Ukraine and Ukrainians will never surrender. As the battle for Donetsk International Airport continued to rage, Ukrainian officials again accused Russia of deploying thousands of troops inside East Ukraine and massing forces on the border. The upsurge in fighting has shattered hopes of progress towards a peace settlement. A planned peace summit between Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and the leaders of Russia, Germany and France has been indefinitely postponed.